Hello everyone, welcome back to CA Hoops Weekly Season Preview presented by Under Armour. Kelly McCarthy is here today and Kelly the Dragons reached the CA Championship game once again last year and also was rewarded another trip to the postseason. That's right, Drexel had a great season last year going 13-5 and in conference play and earning that number two seed in the CA Championship. They had two solid wins against scrappy teams in Towson and Northeastern before meeting up with JMU in the finals. They had the weapons to pull off an upset of the Dukes, but fell just short. They did return to the WNIT, though, for the sixth time in the last seven seasons. The Dragons did lose their second leading scorer in Rachel Pearson to graduation, but Drexel is so consistent, I think you can expect another great season. At Media Day, we caught up with Drexel head coach Denise Dillon to get her expectations for the Dragons for this upcoming season. Uh, we're always outmatched size-wise, so just finding that edge, you know, just willing to fight uh, every possession and one possession at a time. So it's always on the defensive end. I, I feel comfortable and confident that we're going to get shots, but you don't know what kind of night you're going to have uh, shooting the ball. So we really have to rely on our defense uh, to give us an opportunity to keep keep it a, a run, one or two possession game. Uh, so then the strategy uh, starts to come into play down the stretch. Once again, expectations are high for the Dragons entering this season, especially being led by all-CA first-team performer Sarah Curran. That's right. Drexel was picked to finish third in conference play this year. That's no surprise there. Two-time first-team all-CA selection Sarah Curran is a big reason why. She's a reliable player who averaged just over 15 points and five rebounds one year ago. She has a lot of size in the post and always finds a way to get open. A lot of that has to do with her great chemistry with Megan Creighton, who's back for her final season. Creighton creates for this Dragons team, and we can expect that again. But one of my favorite players who tends to fly under the radar a little bit is senior guard Jessica Pilecchio. She sat out 2014-15 after transferring from VCU, so last year was our first look at her. She put together a solid season, averaging 9 points. But the thing that really stood out was her aggressiveness and her willingness to take that open shot. And if by chance her shot's not falling, we all know that Karin will be there to get the Dragons going. Here is Coach Dillon talking about her returning leading scorer. Well, Sarah's just willing to do everything and anything for your team to be successful. I and mean, she has a great demeanor. I think that makes her a great basketball player. You know, you, you put the skill and the talent uh, with that, uh, she can really accomplish anything. And I think just her willingness to develop uh, her game throughout her career. You know, she came in as a small forward, really worked on her uh, range as a three-point shooter, worked on her ball handling in the offseason. Uh, she knows that she can't be one-dimensional. I think it'll be too easy uh, for her to be double teamed, so she, her passing game has evolved as well. So uh, just her understanding of uh, growing as a player year in and year out and increasing her responsibilities uh, for our team to do well has been tremendous. The Dragons open their season with a big matchup at the DAC versus Big Ten foe Penn State on Friday night, November the 11th at 7 o'clock. This one can be seen live on CA.TV. Also at Media Day, we got to catch up with Drexel's Megan Creighton to talk about her game day experience. You can check it out now on CASports.com and our social media platforms. Kelly and I return tomorrow to preview the Elon Phoenix. Have a great rest of your day.